In this video is going to cover the polygon command. So it's in the slide out for draw. There it is, polygon. And so it asks us how many sides we want. So in this case, let's do a hexagon, so six sides. And since that's already the value, I can just press enter to accept it. And now it asks me the center of the polygon. So I'm going to pick the center of the circle. Now we get a couple options. We want it inscribed or circumscribed. Inscribed holds it by the points of the polygon. You can see here. So if I did it as a radius of 1, and now the circle had a radius of 1 also, the points of the polygon are touching the circle. If I did it with the alias POL, again, six sides, pick the same center. And this time I do it circumscribed with the same radius of 1. You can see now the flat of the polygon is touching the circle. So it's inscribed means it's inside the circle. Circumscribed means it's outside the circle. And the reason we do that is because sometimes you want to measure across the points of something. Sometimes you want to measure across the flats of something. So you get the both options on how to draw it. In the polygon command, there's also the option for edge. So if I do E for edge, then I can actually specify exactly how long I want that edge of the polygon to be. So if I knew two points on the edge, I could do that and get the polygon put in. Polygons are always normal polygons, so that means they have equal length lines and equal angles between the lines.